So guys, today as you can see, we have um, four pieces kit. Now I want you guys to know something. These four pieces can also be repaired as. Who can tell me what this can also be called? Apart from four pieces kit. Who can give me a synonymous name to pieces? Double plate. Double. You try to try, but that's not the one I'm looking for. Who can give me? Precious. Do you have any to give me? What did I ask you? What did I ask you? Okay. Do you have a, a, any name? Eh? Serious. Hmm. When I was teaching you guys, um, a line skate. What are the names I called that particular skate? It's not just A line skate I call it. Shit. No, I cannot call it that. Okay, so another name for four pieces skate. Now, the truth that is there is see, I might say four pieces skate, and if you notice, I said what like this is synonymous name to this one, synonymous word to this particular one, pieces. Yeah? For panel skates. Have you guys heard this word before? From me? Yeah? Uh, have you heard this word before? No. Legend other names? Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's new. Oh, it is new. What's the player? For player. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, you might call that one too. Okay? But I know I usually use this part here. Okay? Have you heard that word from me before? Okay, make sure you, 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 you master it now. You understand? Capture it now because it's also a replacement to pieces. When I say four pieces, now like now when I was doing all this A line, I told people that like pencil can literally be called like two panel skit. You understand? I said something like that when I was explaining it. Yes, that's why you guys should listen very well. See, see, this is my two, um, theoretical part of my class. You might think it's not that necessary, but you see all the explanations that I give here are very, very vital and critical. You know, so. This is four panel state. Now, why is it called four panel state? The reason why we call it four panel, as you can see, I've already labeled it here. This is the front part. We have one, two. That is this part is called one, the first part, the second part, then three, four, the third, and the fourth part. As you can see. Okay. Now, this side has the Z. Are you saying it? Okay. So that's why we call it four panel state because it's actually divided into four parts. Do you understand? That's just it. So, why is this panel state is divided into how many? Hmm? Six pieces kit. Precious. Hmm? Six pieces kit divided into how many parts? Six pieces kit divided into four parts. Congratulations. Six pieces kit divided into how many parts? Yeah? Two. Okay? Six pieces kit divided into how many parts? Six. That was very good. Have you seen how you guys are failing exam? Like, clear exam with ASPO. Like, with ASPO, you guys are failing it. Six pieces skates. I say four pieces skates. It's crazy. I want you guys' attention to be here. You were mindset, everything, let it be here. See, when I'm teaching here, eh, I want you to have this method of jotting down something such that you don't lose attention while I'm teaching. Like, if anytime you want to jot, make sure that it's a kind of a free time. Or even if you want to jot fast, fast, make sure it's a jot. Not like you want to say, write everything I've just said, because that will make you to lose focus when I'm teaching. Like I said, I said four panels. Why do we call it four panels? It's because it's divided into four parts. Simple. Now, if you call something six panels, it does six pieces, because it's divided into six parts. You understand? What of uh, 12 uh, pieces? It's divided into how many? 12. Okay, hope it's clear now. Okay. So now, look at it. Um, so how are we really going to um, construct this stuff now? Now look at it. We are first going to, as usual, we are first going to construct the front part, then use the front to construct the back part, as usual. Shape. But what if I tell us that we can fold everything together and cut at the same time? Like that is the front and the back, everything and cut at the same time. You know we can also do that. Yes, we can also do that because by me looking at this, Four panels here. Just notice it. the front and the back is not exactly the same thing. Like it's exactly the same thing. Now, if there will be any difference at all, the only difference is that the allowance you have in front here to join this thing might not be the same allowance here. Why? Because the back has zip. 
probably we always want to use up to two inches for zip why for the front is just half inch for the same joining do you understand i think that's it so if in a situation that i want to cut everything the same thing do you know what i would do what i would do is very simple i will cut it and use um i will let's say example now i will cut it and put a particular like allowance here let's say example now i just use one inch for both of them so that when I'm coupling this front one, I just still sew from that one inch and I go down. When I'm coupling at the back, that one inch is actually my what? Zipper allowance. Do you understand? But for the sake of this class, I'm going to do it in a very simple way. I'm going to cut the front first. Do you understand? Then use it and cut the back so that we can understand it very, very well. Okay. Is there any other feature that this state has? Okay. Now, let me ask us this question. If you want this um, four pieces, like, let's say example now, we have, this is our purpose, are you seeing it? The down, the flare is like this. And I want the flare to be as big as this. Are you seeing it? I want it to be as big as this. What is the best thing to do, like, as a designer? If I want the flare now to be like this, are you seeing the size now? Like, very big like this now. What is the best thing to do for this? Now, remember, I'm asking this thing not because, like, see, this is not your first class of learning about flare. Hope you understand that. So that's what I'm asking in this case. So if I want this thing to be as big or times two as this particular one you have here, what is the best thing to do? Regina Daniels. To add plenty allowance. Okay, so add plenty allowance. Okay, what you are saying is, is to increase the play, like basically increase the play. Let's say we just from this half leg, instead of stopping here, we increase it to this side shape. That's what you say. Okay, what's the best thing to do? Okay, it's the same thing. Can you do you have anything different? Just to increase the allowance. It's to increase the allowance. Okay. Okay. Now, if it is increased, now what if I still want it to be like this? Is this still the same answer? I still want it to have like big flame. Is this still the same answer? Is to increase the flame? No, you. you will... Excuse me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is this still the best answer? Mm -hmm. Shay, you see, I've increased it more. But if I want to increase it like this more, like I really need the flame to flow the whole floor, and I'm working on four pieces. What's, like, what's the best thing? If a customer comes now and tells you, please, I need these four pieces. I want you to flow and fill fuel this floor. You understand? What will you tell the customer? Or what can you do? Hmm? Is it just to increase the allowance like you guys said? Is it what you still tell her that you will do? So what will you do? Let's not waste the time. Our camera is rolling. So no time to waste. Okay, you don't know about that one. Uh, is it I don't know or you want to answer the same thing you answered? Okay, no, well, if you want to say the same thing, say the same thing, say the same thing. Okay, do you have any different answer? Mm, I think, when you say in the other class, you can suggest for the first thing for a bigger piece. Like six, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> My dear, that's why I like teaching more than one person in the class. Do you know why? Because it's very, very interactive. You understand? Like, I'm very, very happy when I'm teaching more than one person. You know why? Because when I ask questions, even if this person did not get it, the other person might try and get a different answer. The other person might even eventually, like, my dear, you are very, very right. I do not even hear what you say, but I know that you are heading towards that point of suggesting another kind of pieces. Shape? Yes. A bigger pieces. So now the answer is I said this in my previous class. That's why I say always pay attention to my theoretical classes. I said, now let, let's say example, as you can see. The last case that you guys made a line, I believe some of you must have experienced some things with that case. You must have experienced that the more flair you add to that a line, the more here gets harder to tackle. Yes. The more the half length, this joining gets harder to tackle. Like in the sense that you will see, let's say example now your even skate is not even that long, it's hanging. You see that here will be rolling inside in a way. Your own, that's happened to your own. Do you understand? Your own was longer, that's why it was better off. You understand? You've not done your own shape. That's the experience you are lacking at this moment. You understand? When you do your own, that's when you learn more. So, so in order to avoid, see what I said. When you make this flame, see, see, you see the normal flame we have. 
Yeah? Just get to come and very well because the play is not too much. So this athlete is not going to have a problem. I think people that understand these things, people that have met a line or other kind of skates before, you understand? That's the, the more you increase the play, the harder it is for you to balance at the half net. So in order to avoid that, that's why we have other pieces. You should, if your customer wants four pieces and want this kind of big play, you should just directly suggest like, Madam, what if you we sold six pieces for Because you know that six pieces can give you that kind of play your customer wants and the um, half length will still be what? Balanced. So what in a situation they want a bigger, 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 bigger one? You know that your six pieces, you're going to struggle in order getting that. You understand? What do you suggest? Suggest eight pieces. You understand? That's why we do, that's why we have all these bigger panel skates. So as to put a flame, any amount of flame you want to put, and it will, everything will sit comfortably. Do you understand? Hope you copy this one, precious. Okay. So, um, that's it for, because that particular explanation I just did now is very, very important. So is there any other thing? Okay, now if you notice now, you see that the front part and the back part, the damp part, they are not the same. Hmm? So what's the difference? You notice that this one came down more. That means this one has tail more. Now this tail I'm trying to, I'm showing you guys now. This is not compulsory. You understand? This is how the front is shaped. Now this tail is not compulsory. You understand? But most people believe that the more tail it has, the finer it becomes. You understand? So, yeah. I don't know. For me, if you ask me, anyone that you do, so far as is long enough to relax on the floor or something, you understand? I think it's very, very nice. But if you choose to put tail, nicer though, you understand? So, um, what next? So is there any question any of you have wanted to ask? Probably, probably you, as we are showing this, your A-line, you experienced something which might be similar to this. Or maybe you've had this question for a very long period of time, you've been waiting for this day to ask a question. Is there any question? Okay. I want to ask this. This A-line dress, what's the difference between it and this one they call mermaid dress? Mermaid, A-line and mermaid. What do you understand? Which one are you talking about this mermaid? Mermaid, this one that they normally use for wedding gowns. That's, you know, they used to be, and then it still has, because sometimes they are alike, like they are equal. Yes. They are equal. Sometimes the play is equal. The play is equal. So how is the, is there any division? Is there any division? Like, is there any four no. pieces, six pieces? No. There is none. No. Okay. Now, that's why, see, eh, when somebody asks me a question, I always want to know what the person understands by that question. You know? but now, if you ask me, Mamet and the A line, let me tell you the truth, though. In my own understanding, I might not be 100% correct. Remember, we are all Mamet. You understand? We are not computer. So, in my own understanding about this word Mamet, you know? Mamet. <laughs> Please, this is my own understanding. Do you understand? All of us do have our some things are so controversial. So in my own understanding, it's a very local understanding. Mamed is what? Mamed, another name for Mamed is Mame Water. Just say it. So Mame Water, eh? They believe like if it has to wear a cloth, or probably the shape of that cloth, you understand? It has to flow. You understand? Please, eh? I, I advise you not to really take this explanation far. You understand? Like, just get it in this class. You understand? That's my own understanding about it. So now, see, you see this fine shape. Now let me show that show you guys something. Okay, you see this fine shape? For me, I believe any clothes there. Eh, that has this kind of shape, eh? That can flow very, very well, can be called mermaid. You understand? Why, in most cases, people usually refer mermaid as six pieces. Six pieces is not composed yours. So that's why I said, that's why I asked you, which particular one are you talking about? Does it have any vision? You said no. Actually, what you saw was a line skate. Simple. Like, there's no difference with the normal inline skate. Now, the only difference is that. The person probably had to put more flip to it. Do you understand? You say sometimes the length are equal. Yes, because they chose to make it equal. Then sometimes if they don't want it to be equal, to have tail at the back. Do you understand? Okay, that's it. Because ordinarily, if sometimes they want them to say, we are making six pieces skate. 
close this business gown today. Yeah, I can say we are making a mermaid gown today. Do you understand? Because it has flames, smelling like a nut. <laughs> so I believe you understand this thing. Now. So I think what you are asking me is here yeah, a line skate really. Do you understand? We also use that same method to make a line gown. Do you understand? Which have a very nice shape. I think here yeah, I will still go and research for why they even call it mermaid. Yes. Can you add tail? Yes, obviously. You can add tail. Now, that reminds me, there are two types of tail. There is this one I call the together tail, mm -hmm. and there is this one I call the attached tail. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The together tail is the one that we do, left and direct. You understand? Mm -hmm. We do it here, like really, yeah. because we don't join anything, but we use the materials we are cutting. Why the attached tail is the one you attach from the half length, mm -hmm. a tail you attach from the half length, which you understand? So now, it depends on anyone you want to use actually. Now let me tell you the truth. If you have to ask me which one do you want to use, I would tell you I want to use together tail. The one that I put together with the skate. Do you understand? But let's say in a situation, I'm cutting and I notice that my material is not enough. So that means if I'm to cut together, it's not going to work. Yeah? What should I do? And I still want to put that there. I use attached. Because I know that it will not be enough. But who knows? There might still be kind of a part of the material that I can still use and put the attached tail. Do you understand? Yes, it might work like that. And let's say there's also another scenario in such that I totally forgot that I wanted to put tail. And I still want to put that there. I can still cut out the tail separate and they attach. Do you understand? I believe by God's grace. As we are making this for this skate, depending on the time we have, I can be able to also explain that attached tail. You understand? Yes. Any other question? Not just any question. So, what are the required measurements? Starting from the general The roundness. The round waist. Uh, another one. Waist. Okay. 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 That is, let me just call it the hip. The hip has what? Hip length and the round hip shape. Okay, I'm giving it general hip. Anyway, you see general hip, just know that it is hip length and the round hip. So, which another one? You skip one, you skip something. What is it? What is it? Length. No, no, she has length. Length. Hmm? A new, new length. That's good, that's good. I know they like me take when I place the call half length. You got it right, so. Yes, and so it's from knee length to get your half length. Okay. So when you're measuring something, you just get the knee length. Or since you know how to sew, you know about all this, you can Pokemon get your half length out of the house. Because some customers get particular place they want yeah, their half length. Yes, and so also know that. Okay, so for this, my dear friend, her round waist is 29, yeah. Her hip length is 7, slash, her round hip is 38. So her knee length is 18, while her skin length is 38. Okay. So we are going to be working with this now. So that's it for the finished part. So let's move back to the practical part. We are going to be cutting it through. 